Hi, I'm Marissa with Rissa Rocks It and Designed by Geeks, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make our 3D witch hat pattern. So this file comes in two versions for your cutting machine. There's one intended to be made from paper, and then there's also a version if you're going to be making the hat out of foam. And today I'm going to be showing you how to assemble the paper version. So the great thing about cutting machines is you can resize your design to any size you need right on the cutting machine software. Really, your only limitations are the size of your material that you'll be using and the maximum cutting area of your machine. So for this size, I cut all of the black pieces out of one 12 by 12 piece of paper, and I filled up the area as much as I could, and I got a hat about this size, which is about like a nice fascinator size. Could even be a pet size but i'm going to show you what you need to do to assemble the hats the uh, instructions are also included there's some written instructions but this is just if you're more of a visual person kind of needs to see it being done to make the hat you're going to start by cutting out all of the pieces that you need so if your paper is not pretty on both sides meaning one side is pretty one side is boring then you're going to need to cut out two pieces for the brim. So there'll be a front side and a back side. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the ring and put it on the back side so that both sides are going to be pretty. Now if your paper is pretty on both sides, you don't need to cut the ring piece. So if your paper looks nice on both sides, you can skip cutting this piece. But since my paper is plain on the back, I do need both pieces for the brim. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply glue on the ring piece and I'm going to glue it onto the back side of the piece with the flaps. If your paper is pretty on both sides, you only need the piece with the flaps. Alrighty, and I'm going to set that aside to dry because I don't need that for another couple of minutes. So I'm just going to set that off to the side. All right, the next step you're going to do is you are going to assemble the top of the hat. So this kind of pie shaped piece is going to be the top of the hat. You'll notice there's an angled piece right here. That's going to be the flap that we're going to apply glue to. So what you're going to do is it kind of helps to pre-fold it, especially if your paper's a little thicker. You're going to kind of roll it around. There's the point, And you're going to form your hat shape. And I haven't applied any glue yet. I'm just kind of pre-folding it so that I know that the shape is nice before I'm committed with glue. So that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and now apply glue on this side kind of angled flat piece. And then I'm gonna fold it around so that that flap is on the inside. And I'm going to hold it there until the glue sticks. If I let go now, it's just going to pop apart. So I'm just going to kind of hold it there until the glue is kind of set. And how long that takes just really depends on your paper. This glitter paper seems to take a little bit longer. Other papers might take a little less time. Whatever kind of glue you want to use, that's up to you. It's just about what's going to work best for your particular material type. You can even use a little tape on the inside if it's being particularly fussy, but as long as it looks pretty on the outside. So that's all uh, finished gluing. The glue's all set. So now that that's all ready and this is all uh, dried with the glue, you're going to take your hat ring and you're going to put your hat top on top and if you see those little flaps we're going to be folding those in we're going to be applying glue on each of these little flaps and affixing it to the inside of your hat brim and 
And again, whatever kind of glue you use, it just depends on what's going to work best with your material type. And I like to glue each flap down one by one, just applying pressure to make sure that it is sticking to the inside of the hat. So I just kind of go around that inner circle. Keep going around until you're back at the beginning. And as you can see, I had a little bit too much glue because it's a new bottle of glue, so it kind of squirted out fast, but that's okay. I can just clean that off here and so that it doesn't look yucky. All right, now you can see that our hat is mostly done. We've got the top attached to the brim. So really all that's left is the little details. So we're going to attach the hat band and the buckle. So we just start with grabbing our hat band and sliding it through the buckle until the buckle is about halfway through. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to glue it in place if you don't want to. You can if you want. Either way, it doesn't matter. It's pretty firmly attached, so it's up to you. And then you just take the hat band and you're going to slide it around your hat like so. And your hat band's going to meet in the back, so you just glue it where the two come together. Try to be a little more careful about not getting too much glue on there. I always forget that when I open a new glue bottle that I don't have to squeeze it quite so hard. And just kind of check it from the front that it's sitting where we want. It's kind of even distance all the way around. And then we're just going to hold that in place until the glue is set. And then I just like to make sure that the back of my hat band lines up with the back seam of my hat so that all the little seams are in the back and not on the front where we want everything to look pretty. And there we have it. We've got our completed witch hat. And this size that I made, it's great for like a fascinator. Um, if I wanted to, I could attach like a little hair clip here so, or I could attach it to a headband or something like that if I wanted to wear it. Or it could just be like a little decoration. Like I said, you can make it any size you need. You can make it, you know, doll size, really small. Depending on your material size, you could make it a lot bigger. It's really up to you. Pretty versatile little design. Great for Halloween. Hope you enjoyed.